cooked this meat. Emily cooked this meat. We've dined in a thousand hotels. She's done a fantastic job. As a matter of fact, she was up all night and all day drinking at a party with her sisters. Got this meat ready in about an hour and ten minutes. Cooked to perfection. With these little plastic forks and knives, you know it must be good. Everybody, eat them up, eat them up, everybody. Oh, you better, it's more well done. Can you eat that well done? Yeah, sure. Oh, let's have a season. What sort of meat is this? <laughs> This is my friend Susan James. Hello to the cameras. Hello. <laughs> Okay, everybody start running to the right. <laughs> whiskey too. Well, here's good luck, boys, and landlord, best regards to you. You boys have treated me nicely, and now I'll tell you how I came to be the dirty sot you see before you now. As I once told you, I was a man of muscle frame and health, and but for a little blunder to have made considerable wealth. I was a painter, not one who dabbed on brick or wood, but an artist. 
and for my age was rated pretty good. I worked hard at my canvas and was bidding fair to rise, and gradually I saw the stars of fame shine before my eyes. I made a picture perhaps you've seen, it's called The Chase of Fame. It brought me 15,000 pounds and added to my name. And then I met a woman. Now comes the funny part. <laughs> with eyes that petrified my brain and sunk into my heart. Boys, did you ever see a woman that for whom your soul you'd give with a firm like Milo Venus too beautiful to live? With eyes to beat the carn and the wealth of chestnut hair, to so twas she, for there never was a half so fair. I was working on my portraiture one afternoon in May of a fair-haired boy, a friend of mine, who lived across the way. And Madeline admired him, and much to my surprise, asked to know the man who had such dreamy eyes. It didn't take long her, for her to know him before the month had flown. My friend had stolen my darling, and I was left all alone. Aww. And ere ye of misery had passed above my head, the jewel that I had treasured had tarnished. Was dead. What's the matter, friend? There's a teardrop in your eye. Come, laugh like that, me. Tis only women and babes that you try. Give me another whiskey and I'll be glad and I'll draw right here a picture of the face that drove me mad. Bartender, give me that piece of chalk with which you mark the baseball score and you shall see the lovely Madeline upon the barroom floor. With the chalk in his hand, the vagabond began to sketch a face that well might buy the soul of any man. And as he placed another lock upon the shaped head with a fearful shriek, he leaped and fell across the picture dead. Oh. Oh. Really? A face on the barroom floor. Mm, glad someone recognized it. Yeah. <laughs> See that? So long, everyone. Are See you later. That? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank